Jory Teal here. Pistol, day 16. Reporting live from Camp Teal. Take 30 <laughs> on the voiceover for Pistol on this nice little filly. I'm supposed to say that she's a cowbred horse. Cowbred barrel prospect, yes. And you'll see how cowy she is here. We're going to play around with her a little bit. This is the start. 16 rides about the start of her fourth week in training. A lot of this was done outside. She has not seen a lot of this arena because she had a little bit of a go forward problem. So when that happen, happens, I go to riding them outside. Let them take care of business before we get loping them too much in here. So when they don't like to go forward, you go outside? Much easier for them to go someplace, have someplace to go than to be looking at these, this arena and these panels all the time. Hmm. That's why I do that. So tell us what's going on here. She looks great. She looks great, and I haven't trained on her a lot. Just kind of been fiddling around and trying to get some of my stuff on her and uh, bringing her here when we work cows and stuff and sitting on her and giving some lessons to other people and stuff. And um, the big thing, I don't know what you guys will see, but what I like right in this video is the quiet. Quiet, quiet. This mare just takes everything in stride. Again, for his green as she I thought this was gonna look it looks better than what I thought it was better than it felt I guess but I like right here the way she just latches onto this cow yeah she just mauls these cattle around with her head she's all about this stuff are and you doing that or is she doing that she's doing about 90 percent of that right there I might use my feet a little and just guide her around there keep her but she's just going where that cow's going sniffing them and wondering what that's all about so what do you mean when you say you let her take care of most of this figuring things out um if if they're not in big trouble sometimes just to going and riding instead of asking and pulling and kicking and doing all the different exercises that we like to do on them sometimes if you just go riding and then go trotting and loping outside you know, and go around trees and down through gullies and all that, you can get as much done on these type of little bit hotter bred horses. Um, so then what's the goal when you come into the arena? That you apply that stuff and then start on some exercises in here where, you know, there's not that freedom of movement and stuff and there's defenses. Here's one theory on it. When you go outside, you're more interested in riding and here you tend to, maybe get a little bored and you're always kind of picking at them and saying I want to do exercises, I want you to be softer, I want you to pick up your feet, move your hindquarters, uh, where I felt like this filly didn't need that at the start. And now it just, as you'll see here, again how she just takes everything, the little bit I do have on her and how quiet she is in accepting. Now I feel like even in this fourth week, and especially now that the owner's committed, this horse is going to stay another 30 days at least to start training on her and see if she's going to let me do that, those things, the exercises we need to do. 